What's up everybody, Andrew Steele here. Today I'm with Fred and Cindy. Hey. We are at Premium Coach Group in Chandler, Arizona. And what are you guys doing here? Well, we came to get our new to us uh, Prevo coach. And, uh, and what type of a Prevo conversion is it? It's a marathon. It's a 2008 marathon coach, uh, XL2. And what are you getting rid of to get into this 2008 marathon coach? Well, um, we're trading in our 2018 King Air. Did you guys hear that? They're trading in a 2018 Newmark King Air for a 2008 Prevo marathon coach. So what caused you to make this decision going back 10 years? And, and I have to point out that the Newmar King Air in my book is the top of the food chain in a production coach. So what caused you to go back 10 years and do a marathon coach? I think, you know, the, the build quality was the first thing. We, we wanted a coach that we could keep for a long time, uh, maybe another 5, 10, 20 years, and, uh, you know, then keep upgrading as, as the years went on. and. Uh, the Prevo offers you that chassis, it's a million mile chassis and of course Marathon Coach is, is a really, really good conversion and uh, when you look at a 10 year old product from Marathon versus a, a newer production coach, the differences are pretty stark as far as the, the quality and the build. Okay, now before you owned that uh, King Air, what other RVs have you owned? We started the Serenity Airstream, yeah. we had it for a month. <laughs> it was too small. Uh, we took one of our kids out in it, and you know they fat, they fit in the the booth. But you know we realized this is kind of tiny. Right. Um, they really warned us to buy one larger than we than we thought, and then we trade in. I think we broke the record, and then uh, we got 27 foot uh, inter international international airstream, airstream international. Another, okay, yeah, absolutely. Airstream. I absolutely love that. It's um, a great coach. Might yeah. still be in it today until he fell in love with the big motor coaches. It was a funny story because we were we were uh, camping at uh, Malibu Beach RV Park, and I was so proud of my my uh, Airstream. I had never seen actually a motorhome up up close, and uh, I was under my Zip D awning and just I mean I was living large. And all of a sudden, this guy in a Prevo rolls <laughs> up right in front of us and parks his gigantic H is an H3. I remember that. And I looked up like that, and then I looked at her, and I said, I want that. And um, that's how it started. We moved on from that Airstream to a Cornerstone, a 16 Cornerstone. And then we uh, upgraded to the 18 King Air, um, and then here we are. Congratulations, by the way. Thank that's you. just awesome to achieve Thank a goal you. and to hear you talk about when you had the Airstream and yeah. set that goal at that moment right. and here you are today achieving it. So congratulations. Thank you. So how long did you own the Cornerstone for? A long time. Three years. Three years. Three years. And then how long did you own the King Air for? One year. One year. And, and how many miles did you put on each of those coaches? I think at the Cornerstone we put over 30,000 miles, about 35,000. We actually went cross country with went it. Went to Maine and back. Yeah, her family's from Maine. So we went, cool. Very we went cool. cross country and slept at all the Walmarts and did all the things <laughs> that people do and uh, had a great time. And so we decided, well, this, we wanted to upgrade to maybe what we thought was going to be our ultimate coach, which was the 18 King Air. Um, and so that didn't work out as, as well as we wanted it to. <laughs> so what are some of the differences in build quality just um, I know you've test driven the coach and what are some of the things that you notice about the build quality of this marathon coach to the King Air what are some of the specific things that you notice right away I can tell you about the mechanicals and then she can tell you about the, the, interior. the all the interior yeah stuff. as far as you know mechanically speaking the it, basically the, the Abrevo yeah. is is a, is a driver's coach. I mean, you, you don't feel the road, you don't hear the road, 
you don't hear the wind, you don't hear rattles. Uh, the coach accelerates like a car. It, it doesn't wobble. It doesn't uh, purpose. Uh, it doesn't do any of these things that my other two coaches have done. Not because of any flaw, but because that's the way it's constructed. It's a different type of construction. So you're driving this. This thing corners like a car. Uh, it, I mean, it, it's it, there's so many things as far as the drive and the mechanics of it that. It's not even a fair comparison. It's just, it's a different, you know, it's a bus, it's a commercial bus converted into a uh, motor coach. And you were saying that your 2018 King Air, you think that your marathon coach is faster off of the line than uh, your King Air? Yeah, well, by a lot. Yeah. And it's quieter. It, it's, it's a lot quiet. I mean, that thing accelerates like, like a sports car. I, actually, when I just drove it, I had to kind of lay off the, the, the gas a little bit. Just, I just wasn't used to that kind of power. Uh, yeah, but it's a completely different, you know, that, it's a driver's coach. I mean, if you like to drive and you're gonna drive for a long while, that's that's the one. And, and then your cornerstone too. We were talking early earlier. I got a couple hours of picking <laughs> Fred's brain this morning. So he, he's got a lot of wisdom owning a cornerstone in King Air and now a marathon coach. So you were telling me that the Cornerstone, cornerstone seemed to have a little more power than the King Air, you thought? Well, I think so because the, the, the Cornerstone, I think, is a little bit lighter. It's a little bit shorter, so it's not as high and, and it's a little bit lighter overall. Had less equipment as far as, you know, all of the, the King Air is loaded with all the, all the stuff. And so because of that, I think it was a little bit quicker. But then it, it, that, that's just here and here, and then you have Marathon. Here. It, yeah. it's, it's just a completely different ball game. And so the acceleration of the cornerstone, I know it's been a couple years since you've driven that versus the marathon coach. How would you compare the cornerstone versus the marathon coach? Still remarkably slower. Really? Yeah, remarkably slower. Uh, it was faster than my King Air because of what I think is weight uh, differential, but compared to the, to the Prevo, there's just no way. And, and um, if, if you want to talk about it, we can, but can we talk about some of the problems that you had with your King Air? You know, unfortunately, I, I think the equipment that they put in the coaches in, at the Newmar is, is good equipment. You know, I just, I'm not so sure about the way it's put together sometimes, installation and, and stuff like that. So uh, the Newmar owners know about this is that debugging that they go through. It's, it's a whole year's worth of debugging, or basically they, everything kind of just either breaks or I don't know. And, and so they have to kind of keep fixing it. And then when they fix it, then they have a good coach for a long time. Now, some people don't have that experience. You know, I just, I had a very intense debugging year. So what yeah. it sounds like from our conversation this morning, um, we don't want to get too deep into every little right. problem, but right. it sounds like they've spent the last year basically debugging that King Air. And right. it's going to be a great coach for the next owner probably after all yeah. the work yeah, that I you've think, done. Yeah, but I think, uh, I think whoever gets it gets a, gets a really <laughs> good, uh, almost deep, almost debug coach. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, I, I put a lot of work into it and uh, we couldn't really travel as much as we would have liked because of that. And one of the things too that I have to bring up, a lot of you subscribers that watch a lot of videos have heard me talk about the problems with DEF and that's part of the reason why I bought a 2008 Tiffin Phaeton is because it doesn't have DEF. And you did mention that there was a problem with the DEF system on your 18 King Air. Would you be willing to talk about that at all? I, I think so. I, the, the, Newmar, the Newmar people, well, actually anybody who has a Spartan chassis probably went through, or uh, let's say a big percentage, went through this problem uh, with the DEF heads being out of whack and you know, my, I happened to mine and I had to change it. Once you change it, everything's fine. But you know, it, it is, um, the, the DEF added another dimension of problems to this even though it's fixable, but it's still time off of your travels and time off of your enjoyment. And and there was there was one um, instance, and I can edit it out if you want, but um, <laughs> where the King Air actually ended up on a tow truck. Can you tell us at all about that? Yes, yeah, so that that deaf head issue. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I was on my way to taking it to the uh, shop, and it derated, and all of a sudden I was going five miles an hour. Uh, and I had to, fortunately it happened within a quarter mile of where I was, you know, parked. So I just kind of painfully kind of turned it around <laughs> and, and waited for the tow truck. And uh, yeah, so it, it, those little jabs just kind of start getting at you. It doesn't mean that, you know, again, that the, the Prevo is not going to break. Of course they do. Yeah. But I, I think with additive, 
for this coach for me was additive so many things that I was like, I am, I'm done. You're ready to try a new path. So. Yeah. Yeah. so when you were telling me that you had to get the coach towed, um, my number one question is always, uh, how much does that tow cost? And you've got some good wisdom to share with the folks out there. Our experience with CoachNet has been incredibly good. And so, Excellent. yeah, that, I mean, that's what we have now on the, on the marathon is, is CoachNet. We actually added the tire feature, which gives you a certain number of tires per year. I think it's four tires or three tires per year. It's included in the cost. Uh, for free, and it's just it's just a rider that you put on the on the on the thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, you just call them. They found the tow truck. They called them. They scheduled the appointment. The people they, they came. They got me. I mean, it was just crazy. Zero out of pocket. So, if you own any kind of coach, you don't want to be without some sort of yeah assistance. And I hear that over and over again. A lot of people sing praise of CoachNet. So that's something. Uh, to keep in mind, um, if you do own a coach, uh, we, we're, you're hearing it right here. It, 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 it probably, I can't even imagine how much money it saved you on that King Air tow bill. That's a, so. it's a lot of money. That's, yeah. a, that's it, a lot it of money. Definitely yeah. pays for itself. Oh, it pays for itself. And it just one, one bad time like this, you're, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, very, very great information. Appreciate you sharing that. Now, let's talk more about the interior of the coach. What are some of the differences that you've noticed? in between the interior of the King Air and the interior of the Marathon Coach? It's a 2008, so the, the uh, appliances in are a little older, the Crestron is older, but I've been really impressed how well they work. Either comparable or maybe even a tiny bit better than the, than the new things that are being put in now. So faster response, or how yeah, do they the work Crestron, better? the Crestron, it looks a little archaic. It's got a very fuzzy screen, so I'm kind of like, I'm not gonna like it, but works immediately every single time and sometimes if you've had a coach at an iPad and you're doing the wireless it can be a little glitchy you have to like reboot it and kind of start it again and if this thing is hardwired in it is excellent very yeah. cool you touch a button and, and there it is I mean it's just very organic as far as the response it's yeah and every coach I get I start just clean everything look under everything I will to be fair the Integra the King Air and this one don't have anything ugly behind the behind the, the cabinets yeah. or behind the scenes are all pretty clean um, but you can just tell there's something about the marathon like the wood is very strong plywood the carpet they put is really good quality um, it's really it's kind of really holding up so I'm excited we I guess we wanted the marathon we wanted to do the do our debugging and something we could just keep absolutely Having yeah. been through so many like actually honestly we don't I would hope to keep this one forever. Yeah, and I, and I was, when Fred and I were chatting this morning, that's that's what I said. I said, you've got great bones here with this yeah. coach. If you need to get a new paint job or remodel it, just keep this coach forever. It's pre-DEF, it's an 08, so y you're less likely to have all those DEF problems. Right. And, yeah. um, and the electronics too. Some of the electronics in the newer coaches can give you some problems. Would you be willing to talk at all about some of the electronic problems that you had with the King Air? Uh, well, you know, again, I think it, with the King Air, it was all about how... There was so much great information in this interview that I had to make it into a two-part video. So make sure to check out part two of this video for the rest of this interview. And it even says what side it is, and then that goes right there. Wow, that is too cool. Yeah. So this is Coach. Eleven twenty-four. Eleven twenty-four. Too cool.